Hello internet and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube. If you don't know the drill by now then you're about to become duly informed because here we harness the most horrific haunting content from all across the internet and present it to you in one horrifying little package. Welcome to top 5 scary videos, as always I'll be your host Jack Finch as today we take a look at 10 scary found footage videos that should never have been shared. Hit it up. Before we begin, if you could be so kind as to hit that subscribe button, as well as giving a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So without further delay, let's get started, shall we? Jumping in at number 10, we have the Croatian tape. Found in Croatia on the 4th of October 2005, the contents of this footage is pretty damn disturbing. The video details two Croatian teenagers who, after buying a new camera, take to their local area to test it out and film a few random things things as you do. As the video plays out though, things start to get a little bit creepy and as the teenagers are travelling down a road, they spy the shadowy figure of a man. The man is wearing a dark hood or bag over his head. So far so weird, but then things inevitably get worse. Well, why don't you check it out for yourself. Okay. 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 Eventually, the footage concludes with the mysterious man violently attacking the pair of teenagers. And the video claims that Croatian police originally released the footage in an attempt to look for leads. Real or not, the Croatian tape is pretty messed up. Next up at number 9, we have Broomhall Farm. Otherwise known as No Through Road, this piece of footage supposedly relates to a group of boys that went missing in England in the December of 2008. As the report goes, the boys from Stephen in Hertfordshire were eventually found dead in their car, which had been parked nearby an abandoned rural area called Broomhall Farm. When police found the bodies, they also found a camera in the car, which, as it turned out, had some pretty bizarre footage on it. What? James, point the camera at me. Just. The 9 minute video details the boys as they joyride around some English country lanes late at night, which is harmless enough, until they get to a dark tunnel which is clearly marked as having no through road. They then become hopelessly lost and seem to drive around for hours, lost in the eerie darkness of the English countryside. Eventually they return back to that very same entrance and, well, why don't you watch the video yourself and find out. And coming up at number 8, the Paris Catacombs. One incredibly strange video began making the rounds as early as the 1990s, which claimed that a camcorder was found in the deep darkness of the Paris Catacombs by an intrepid explorer. If you didn't know, the Parisian Catacombs are a creepy underground mausoleum that spans some 200 subterranean miles of strange burial rooms and dimly lit tunnels that snakes its way underneath the busy streets of Paris, France. The whole network contains a mind-boggling 6 million corpses give or take, which was built as a result of overcrowded cemeteries in the 18th century. Most of the catacombs are closed off to the public, but it has become a magnet for daring urban explorers. Faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs, and all of a sudden... No one seems to know exactly what happened to the person who took this footage and it is unclear just exactly what caused them to drop the camera, turn tail and run. The camera continues filming until the battery goes dead and the explorer was never found despite several rescue attempts. And next up at number 7 we have Penhurst Asylum. Another found footage that alludes to the paranormal, Penhurst Asylum in Pennsylvania was opened in 1908 as a place to lock up people who were deemed unfit to function in society. Since then, the site has become a hotspot for paranormal and occult activity and has a violent history harboured deep 
beneath its walls. After its closure in 1987, Penhurst Asylum became synonymous with ghost hunters and paranormal investigations, and in 2008, two college students took up that very same mantle. However, in this instance, they got a little bit more than they bargained for. The beginning of the video seems to be harmless enough, detailing the two students wandering around the rooms of the asylum and goofing around. Things start to get weird though after the pair make their way up a strange staircase and then cut to an eerily angled shot outside of the asylum before then going permanently dark. Allegedly the camera was found inside the abandoned asylum and the pair of students, well, they were never seen again. Coming in at number 6 we have the Highway of Tears. In British Columbia, Canada there is a 450 mile stretch of highway where 40 or more women have gone missing over the span of 50 years. Most of these women were of the First Nations and were likely hitchhiking their way across the country. The police suspect that this is the work of one or a group of serial killers who operate along this highway because of how vast and unoccupied it is. Well, one of the missing women, Amber Takuro, was actually on the phone with her brother when she was picked up by the last man to allegedly have seen her alive. You better not take me anywhere. I don't want to go. I want to go into the city. Police later used this footage in the vain hope that someone would recognise the man's voice, but sadly, no further evidence has been found. It's incredibly sad to hear such distressing footage, and I sincerely hope that the Highway of Tears mystery is solved. Next up at number 5, Murder at Sea. Now this video is the definition of horrific. This video is incredibly difficult to find and it is so unsettling to watch that we're going to leave its footage completely out. Somewhere in the Indian Ocean, roughly around 2012, video footage emerged of four men frantically trying to stay afloat on a piece of wreckage, raising their hands in the air in defeat. Next, the crackling of gunfire and the men are then mercilessly mowed down as a pool of red spreads throughout the surrounding water. Crew members of the offending vessel can be heard cheering, even taking selfies in the 10 minute long clip. Tragically, no one knows who the dead men were and their bodies have never been recovered. It was stranger still then when the cell phone footage only came to light after being found by a student left abandoned in a taxi cab in Fiji. The crime has never been acknowledged by the authorities and the mystery remains unsolved to this day. Swinging in at number 4 we have the Jonestown Massacre Tapes. On November 18th 1978 nearly 1,000 people of the religious cult known as the People's Temple, most of whom were American, died in a twisted and bizarre ritual that took place in the remote jungle compound of Jonestown. 914 people died, most of them by cyanide poisoning although some were shot either by themselves or others. Jim Jones, the leader of the cult, shot himself and what remained was the infamous Jonestown death tape, a historical document like no other. During its 44 minutes and 30 seconds of pure horror, the slow massacre of 914 people is documented in its fullest. It is known as the largest single day loss of American life between World War II and the 9-11 attacks. It's out there on the internet but if I was you, I'd leave it well alone. Next up at number 3, grave robbing for morons. Now this is one of the most popular internet mysteries that has remained unsolved and it's remained unsolved for pretty much two decades. Filmed in the 1990s, the video began circulating the Halcyon internet after its weird subject matter creeped out its viewers. Oh, from the baldness, okay? Now so what you do is you grab it around here. You grab it here and peel it back like that, okay? Peel it back. The 26 minute long video has a young narrator detailing how to rob graves without getting caught, what bones are the most valuable and other general grave robbing tips, whatever they might be. Chillingly, he appears to hold an actual human skull that he's stolen, with many viewers stating that it's just too legit to be a fake. Whatever the answer, no one seems to know because that's the only glimpse we're ever going to get into the grave robber's strange, twisted mind. 
and it remains unsolved. Now at number two, the video diaries of Ricardo Lopez. In the mid to late 90s, Ricardo Lopez, a would-be murderer from Uruguay who later lived in Florida, developed a deranged obsession with the popular Icelandic musician Björk. As he became more and more obsessed with the singer, Ricardo descended into a twisted spiral of madness and would feverishly send fan letters and research every single detail of her life. I didn't know this. I said, you know what? I'm better than you. Over the course of his obsession, Ricardo Lopez would document his descent into madness over a compilation of videotapes. Eventually, he would plan to kill the singer by sending a letter bomb, documented in his video diary titled Last Day, where he goes on to shave his head, smother his body with grease paint, and then eventually take his own life with a 38 caliber pistol. All of this was caught on camera and the whole thing is a terrifying insight into the torture that takes place in a severe case of mental illness such as this. And finally at number one, the Eliza Lamb tape. Now, I'm not going to lie guys, the main reason this tape is at our number one spot is because, well, it even creeps me out. Usually, I'm pretty steadfast in my resolve of the strange, the paranormal, and the unexplained, but the case of Eliza Lamb just unsettles me in a way that most other things don't. On February 19th, 2013, maintenance workers at a Los Angeles hotel discovered the body of Eliza Lamb in a water tower atop the building. She'd been missing for over a month, and her autopsy revealed no evidence of physical trauma, and her manner of death was ruled as accidental. But Contrary to that, as the footage shows, Eliza is in dire distress and has appeared continuously hiding in the hotel's elevator, as well as shouting at someone or something further down the hall. I don't know guys, you check it out and let me know what you think in the comment box down below. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. If you've been truly terrified by this video, make sure to share it with your nearest and dearest and give it a great big thumbs up. As always, I've been your host Jack Finch, you've been watching Top 5 Scary Videos, and until next time, you take it easy.